I am either clumsy or maybe I don't pay much attention to some things. Maybe I am just human, <laughs> but clumsy as well. So clumsy. Sometimes. So I guess if you don't want anything broken, maybe you should keep it away from me. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> okay. What I am going to speak about, it is something I have made videos on, but maybe some people, because sometimes in my comment section, I think some people usually ask similar types of questions. Maybe they have not seen those videos, I guess. But I think most questions I have, I receive from people, are pretty much similar in nature. Yes, they may say this and that. They may differ a bit, but pretty much I would say similar in nature. Look now. There is a person I help and I read and pray with that person. What I told that person, you have to change. You can think you are good or whatever else or not that bad, but ultimately you have to sacrifice so much of yourself to be like something else. Are you willing to give up all of your sinful friends if they aren't willing to change? Are you? Are you willing to stop watching murderous, murderous, awful videos, sexual content and all that stuff, either on TV, YouTube or whatever else. I'm not sure if they have any of that stuff on YouTube. Netflix, perhaps, or whatever else. Are you willing to monitor what you watch? As in, be careful in what you watch. Make sure that you aren't watching filth. Are you willing to give that up? Are you willing to read your Bible more, pray more, fast for Jesus Christ? Are you willing to give up so many things you may like in order to obtain a closer relationship with Jesus Christ? Are you? Some people may believe Living for Jesus Christ is like a side venture or something like that. Like something you can like get into and then get out of it. Like, like a side hobby. <laughs> I guess some people believe they can live their normal life and I guess like a side hobby get into living for Jesus Christ, you know, like as if it is like playing a sport or something. No, living for Jesus Christ is a full time affair. It is something you must place time into. You can't just listen now, please listen. If you really want to be successful in Jesus Christ, put more time into it. Like, what do you expect is going to happen if you don't place much time in to trying to live for God, as in learning about him and stuff like that? Like, if I wanted to skateboard 
I think when I was younger, <laughs> I used to try to skateboard, believe it or not. Not in a huge way, but something to pass the time. I think when I was about, I don't know, 8, 10, 12, somewhere around there. And I was horrible at it. Horrible at it. I went ice skating with a friend years ago. And I was horrible at it. Why? Because I did not place much time into it. I did not research. I don't think I really researched about skateboarding. I may have watched some Tony Hawk videos and stuff like that, but, and I played the game too. But I did not really, if I am remembering correctly, I did not really research much or place much time into ice skating and skateboarding. Like, for ice skating, I fell so many times to where I believe my right knee, I believe my knees were really sore for like a week or more. Look now, you can't give most of your time to the world and expect to be successful in trying to live for Jesus Christ. Like, how would that even make sense? Some people may have an easier time trying to live for God than others. But ultimately, I believe you need to place so much time into researching. Myself, I have researched so much about the Bible. So much. Even still, I still don't know everything. I have placed so many hours into listening to teachings, audio Bibles, talking about Jesus, and I still don't know everything. I am still growing, I believe I am, growing in Jesus Christ. I don't know everything even though I have placed so much time into it. What is that telling you? What is that telling you? Do you believe you can just, let me give Jesus a five second prayer before I go to sleep and let me do that once a week or once a month. Let me just go to church only once a week or once or every holiday, you know, Easter and Christmas and all that stuff there. Let me only go to church on that day and believe inside my mind Jesus is okay with a relationship with him that I think I have with Jesus, but not really. Listen now, give Jesus Christ more time. You can't just, as far as I know, you can't just give God little time and believe you can get better at it. I don't believe that is going to work. The more I give up of myself, the more I change and the happier I am. I used to have, maybe I should not say this, but I used to have so much hate for my mom. So much hate. And as I learned more about Jesus Christ, now we all aren't perfect. I believe we all can find faults within everyone, right? If you look hard enough, <laughs> I believe you can find faults in everyone, whether they are small or large. But as I started to understand more about God and stuff like that, I believe I started 
to understand why my mother did certain things when I was younger. Now, I don't agree with everything, but with much of, I think with much I was angry with her about, I learned that it was not her per se, but it was me because I had the wrong understanding. Do you understand what I am trying to say? But I believe that came by giving God more time. I think so many people may have unforgiveness for a person and you may have that for a person, but perhaps you are misunderstanding what really happened. Maybe you don't see the whole picture. Maybe you are just looking at certain aspect or an aspect. Maybe you don't see the whole picture. I think as you try to live for Jesus Christ, I believe as you give him more time, I think he will, how can I say this, open up your life and show you, hey, you need to change this, you need to change that, you need to do this, and you need to do that. So I believe if we choose to go that route, giving God more time, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> my Lord. So ultimately, give Jesus Christ more time. This is, this should be, I would say, this should be the main part of your life. Your career, trying to have babies and a wife and a husband and all that stuff there, that can wait. That comes last. Jesus Christ should be in front, not like third or fifth or all the way last. No, in front. Because the more I give up of myself, the more I sacrifice of myself to be more like Jesus Christ, I enjoy it. Yes, it may be difficult at first, but as time passes by, I enjoy it. I like, yes, um, doing things for my enemies may be difficult at first, but seeing what happens afterward, you know, man, <laughs> I can tell you some stuff now. Living by God's rules, I am not saying I do everything perfectly, but seeing the results over time by living for Jesus Christ, it is amazing. The results are amazing. Yes, I may be, I may get used and mocked and spoken poorly about and stuff like that. Some people may say I am wicked and evil and all that stuff there. Some people may say that I am wicked and evil and all that stuff there. Hey, whatever. Let people say what they want. Well, I don't want them to say what is wrong. But if they choose to, what can I do? I guess pray about it. But ultimately give Jesus Christ more time. If you do, I think you can become a better Christian. See, let me say this. Why are you placing so much time into college and, and uh, makeup and hair and and all, which it isn't wrong. It isn't wrong to place time into those things. But if it begins to consume your time to where you don't have time to learn about God or research about him, what is the point? What is the point? Think about it. You are not, I believe, we all are not going to be on this earth for long, right? 
I think we are going to be in the afterlife longer than how long we are going to be on this earth in our existence now. So if that be the truth, why in the world would I place my focus off of Jesus Christ and place it on something that is not going to last? Please think about that. Yes, I want more money. Yes, I want uh, <laughs> a nice car. I want blah, 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 blah. But on this earth, my goal, I guess I can say, is to become better as a person. My goal, goals, I guess I can say, is to excel higher in Jesus Christ. I value that more than, I guess, prestige on earth or popularity on earth or whatever else. I think some people work so hard at their jobs trying to get like a good name or whatever else. I think so many people have so many goals on this earth, but is your goal, look now, this life is temporary. This life is temporary. I believe what is going to matter when we die is how we performed on this earth based upon what? I believe the Bible. So if that be the case, let me focus less on this temporary stuff. Yes, I can take part in ice skating and skateboarding and all that stuff there, but let me place my main focus and time on Jesus Christ. I'm trying to learn more about him mainly so I can change more and so I can help other people. Why are you placing so much importance on temporary stuff? Look now, I believe we are going to be, if we make it to heaven, which I plan on going to heaven, please Jesus, I believe we are going to be rewarded based upon our performance. So if you plan on going to heaven, why place more focus on this earth than trying to get to heaven? Please think about it. Even if you get a huge mansion, even if you get diamonds on every finger, are you going to take those diamonds to heaven? Are you going to take your mansion to heaven? Are you going to take your Maserati? <laughs> To heaven? I don't think so. Right? So I believe it is logical to place more emphasis on living for Jesus Christ than on this temporary stuff. I think much of this stuff on earth is a distraction. A huge distraction for many people, I think. So take your focus off yourself, if you know what I mean by that, and place it more on Jesus. Am I telling you you are going to be perfect? No, I am not perfect. I make mistakes. Embarrassing mistakes. <laughs> at times but hey god please forgive me i am sorry please help me and move on right like what is the point in sulking if i am saying that right sulking over past issues or oh my life is so horrible ah oh. Why can't God just take me off this earth? Oh, I am so depressed. Let me hug my pillow. Uh, I don't have nobody in this world but my pillow. Uh, man, get off that stuff. Let me stop here. God bless you.